The bot you're seeing here is of NovaCare Hospital. This agent will book appointments and update Google Spreadsheet along with answering customer questions. Let's test it. I am typing here, hey. It's saying, hey there, how can I help you today? When hospital opens? 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Saturday. Where hospital locates? We, we located at Health Street. Let's say it to book appointment for me. Now it giving me time slots to book appointment for today. Give it time, 12 p.m. Then name and number. And yeah, appointment is booked. As you see, agent can book appointments and answers customer queries. In this video, I'll show you how to set up this agent. If you've never built an agent before, don't worry. This step-by-step -step tutorial will guide you through everything from start to finish. Go to the n8n.in website. Click on Get Started. Here, fill in your name, email, password, and choose a unique account name. If you're not sure what to use, you can even ask ChatGPT for ideas. Then, click Start 14-Day Free Trial. Now, you'll be asked a few setup questions like, What's the size of your company? What best describes you? Just pick any answers and press Enter to continue. You'll then see an option to invite teammates. You can skip this part and click Start Automating. Now your N8N account is ready. For those who don't know, N8N is a no-code platform that lets you create smart automation agents without writing a single line of code. Next, click on Create Workflow. This will open a new blank workflow. Name it WhatsApp Agent. Click on the plus icon. In the search bar, type WhatsApp Business and then click on Message. Now we need to set up new credentials. To do that, you'll need a client ID and client secret. To get it, let's go to Facebook Developers. Click on My Apps. If you already have a developer account, you'll see it on your dashboard. If not, create a new account and complete the verification process. It's a simple step, but sometimes Facebook may take a little time to verify your account, especially since they try to block bots from signing up. If it doesn't work right away, don't worry, just try again after some time. Once your account is set up, create a business portfolio, which is just a business account. Now, let's create app. Click Create App. Give your app a name. You can name it anything. I named mine Demo App. Click Next. Scroll down and choose Other. Click Next again. Select Business as the app type. Click Next. In the drop-down, choose your business portfolio and select it. Click Create App. After the app is created, click Set Up under the WhatsApp product. And that's it. You've successfully created your app. In Facebook Developers, go to App Settings Basic. Copy your app ID, go to NN, and paste it under Client ID. Click Show next to App Secret, copy it, and paste it into Client Secret in N8N. You should now see that your credentials have been successfully created. Click the plus icon. Search for AI Agent and click on it. Go back and attach a new node called WhatsApp Send. Here, we have to set up new credential, but this one is different from previous credentials. Go to that Facebook Developers page. On left side, select WhatsApp. Under it, select API Setup. On this panel, you will see WhatsApp business number that Facebook has given you. Below, 
you can have to give recipient number. In this case, recipient number is your phone number. Just type here along with your PIN code. Click on Generate Access Token, then Reconnect. Just copy that token, go to N8N, and paste here. Go back, copy Business ID, and paste here. And successful! Now agent can receive message but cannot give reply because it cannot think. To do that, add the chat model, the brain of the agent. Scroll down, find Gemini chat model and click on it. Set up new credentials. We'll be using the Gemini 2.5 flash model. It's free to use so you don't need to pay for the API key. To get API key, go to Google AI Studio. On top, find Get API Key. Inside it, create API Key. Either name your new project, or if you already have one, just select your existing project. In my case, I already had one, so I selected the older project. If you don't have one, just type in a name and create it. Copy the generated API key. Go back to N8N, paste it into the API key field, and hit Save. Now agent can receive and send message, but cannot remember previous conversations, means when you say it, your name is George, and if you ask again what is Tor name, it cannot remember it. That's why, to remember the previous conversation with user, we have to set up a memory for it. Hit plus icon and select simple memory. Set context window to 10. This means agent can remember past 10 conversations. Now that we've set up the receiver, the chat model, and the memory, there are still a few things to configure inside the send message node. Open the send message node. In sender's phone number, select your number from the drop-down list. In receiver's phone number, enter your phone number again. Make sure to include the country code. Below that, choose the type of message you want to send. Oh, you can choose text, video, audio, or images. Oh, for now, to keep things simple, select text. In the text body field, type success. This means that when the message is received, it will reply with success as confirmation. That's it. The send message node is now fully configured. Save your workflow. Let's test this agent to make sure it's working. Then we will add another notes to it. First, save WhatsApp test number on your phone. If you don't remember, you can get test number we saved in send message node. I saved number as NovaCare Hospital. And now I am saying it. Hey, just click on execute workflow. Right now, production is inactive. Once we make it active, we don't have to manually execute workflow. It will work when user sent any message. Now go to WhatsApp and hit enter. It's not replying. Let's go to N8N. We got error in simple memory and in AI agent. First, go in AI agent. You'll see a red highlight inside the user message field. This happens because we haven't told the agent which input to take from the trigger node. The prompt is what the user says. In our case, when we typed, hey, it came from the body field. Under Source Prompt, select Define Below. Grab the body value from your trigger node and place it in the prompt section. Now go to Simple Memory. The error here is because the session key needs to be unique. For example, your WhatsApp ID works perfectly. In Session ID, select Define Below. Paste this expression. You can get it from description. Just copy and paste it. 
Remember the name inside curly bracket should be name of your trigger node. Otherwise, you will get same error again. Now that both errors are fixed, and send hey on WhatsApp. Oh, I forgot to execute workflow. After executing it, and again say hey. Congrats! You have set up the bot successfully. Now we just have to add nodes that will empower it. If you make till here, give a cheers for you. Now the easiest part begins. We will give agent access to Google Sheet to book appointment and answer customer questions. First, add Google Sheet node. In it, create new credentials. Sign in with your Google account and click on Continue. You can see Get Rows option here. This means agent can only read from this file. It cannot make changes or do other things. Here, we have to tell it which file to use. I create a document in Google Sheet called Questions and Answers. In it, frequently asked questions and their answers are formatted so when user ask questions, agent can find relevant answer to that question. To give access, in Document, select File Name from dropdown. If you don't see any name, just switch to ID and then go to Sheet, copy Sheet ID from URL and paste it here. Now, select Sheet Name. That's it. Add another Google Sheet node. Keep Get Rows option. In Google Sheets, I make a new document called Hospital Appointment Monday. In it, I make sheet accordingly, date and day. And you have to also save sheet like this. Also, the reason I will tell you later. So sheets have time slots to book and patient name, phone number, and status, which will tell agent that particular time slot is booked. Go to N8N. Select File Name and Sheet defined by AI. This allows agent to look all sheets inside this document. If user says to book appointment for tomorrow, it can search for tomorrow's sheet. Let's add last node again, Google Sheet, and select Operation Update Row because this node will update sheet to save user details while booking. Select the same appointment document we selected in previous node and sheet defined by AI. Just quickly rename node's first node as queries. Second node as read rows in sheet. And third as update rows in sheet. Hey, we set up, but our agent don't know what to do with all these nodes. We have to give it a command. Go inside AI agent, click on add option, then on system prompt. Here we will tell agent what exactly what to do. You're our smart assistant for NovaCare Hospital. You can answer questions using Queries node and book appointments using Google Sheets. Greet politely and saved what to do when user ask for book appointment. And there is just only one change you have to make in this. If you're watching this video from outside of Asian time zone, you have to change time zone expression accordingly your region. I add time zone expression because when user says book appointment for today, tomorrow, it have to know which date is today, then it will search for right sheet, and I know you will ask ChatGPT. In description, you can get the prompt. So just copy this prompt, paste here an N8, and save the workflow. So now, let's test. Click on Execute Workflow. Go to WhatsApp and ask, do you give online consultation? This answer he fetched from Queries node. It's answering yes. Yeah, this is right. Now let's test 
Get rows in sheet note. Let's say I want to book appointment for today. It is looking inside Get rows sheet and it give us time slots available for today. Let's say it to book for 3 p.m. and I know it will ask for my name and number, so I already giving this. Also, but it don't book appointment and we got error in update row node. Let's get in there. You can see empty section of values to update. Node is asking for which and where values to update when a user asks to book appointment. First, select column to match as time slot. Then, inside values to update, use let AI decides for time slot, patient name, and patient phone number. This because these values will be different for each time. And, inside status, write booked. This is fixed value. Hit Execute node from upper side. Now, it will ask for data that would normally come from AI agent. Just write what I write here and hit Execute workflow. It works. Now, Execute AI agent. Open Update Row, Node. Now you can see it is fetching time, name, phone number from AI agent. Go back and execute WhatsApp sent. And you can see I got the message of appointment is booked. Let's check it inside Google Sheet. You can see agent have saved patient name, number in given time slot. So congrats, our agent is updating sheet also. We successfully set up AI agent that can book appointments and answer customer queries. Let's meet in next video.